Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, so today I've been scrolling through YouTube as I normally do and uh, I've come across um, a, a channel that I kind of want to highlight and I mean this guy needs no help from me um, but it's a guy called Robert Mitchell who runs a company out in, at the Nürburgring called Apex uh, Ring Taxis. So basically what they do is they take people out with a professional driver and they do uh, they do taxi laps and uh, it kind of got me wondering um, how fast do these guys go? And now Robert has a video, um, which is what does it take to be a ring taxi driver? Um, so I've put a link to the description down below for uh, that video if you guys want to go and check it out. And basically it kind of sparked me thinking about how fast these guys go and how do I compare in terms of kind of lap times. So basically what I'm going to aim to do today is try and do my first ever sub seven minute lap um that's my benchmark um as well as that i'm going to the, to the difficulty slightly um i'm adding in a load of traffic because these guys do the, that kind of lap time fairly regularly in tourist of and sessions so they do it with traffic on the track so i've added a load of cars in and uh yeah just before we go out on track um once again a massive thank you to uh, everyone that has subscribed so far if i could please ask you to hit the like button on uh, on this video and of course don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos so without further ado let's head out onto the track and uh, see how we get on okay so here we are in the tf car park at the nurburgring so my car for today is the gt2 rs mr which the mr stands for manti racing which those of you are familiar with porsche um will know that the name Manti Racing. Um, this is a car that the guys actually use as a ring taxi. Um, I know Apex, for example, run one of these cars as a ring taxi. So I think it's a fairly representative car. Um, it's also the fastest production car around the Nürburgring at the moment. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, jump in the cockpit and see what, we, uh, see what we can do. We head out on track. Hi guys, I'm talking to you about halfway through my recording at the moment. Um, this is actually turning out to be an awful lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, I got about three quarters of the way through the lap, got to about Vipperman and then uh, completely stuffed it. Um, I like to do these things in one take just because it keeps things nice and raw. But in this case, I'm going to jump straight to uh, the video of the lap just to save some time. And then I'll chuck a load of outtakes at the end just for you guys to have a giggle at. So here we are on the Nürburgring and uh, we're just heading out onto the Döttinger and uh, we're just going to try and kind of find ourselves a little bit of free space on track as uh, we have been catching stuff and you can see I've set a, a lap already of a 7, six, a seven minute 6.8 which is just a bit of a benchmark time for me just so I can uh, kind of use my delta against that and uh, actually unfortunately my delta's not playing ball at the moment so uh, we'll have to run without it I hope it kind of comes to life at some point during this lap but yeah, um, so as I've said, I'm driving the GT2 RS MR. So the MR is the uh, Manti Racing version of Porsche's GT2 RS. Now Manti Racing are one of those teams that is associated with a brand um, basically in the same way that AMG is associated with Mercedes-Benz. So Manti Racing run Porsche's VLM program. Um, they tune a lot of road cars for them and you can go to Manti Racing with your Porsche GT2 RS and buy this kit and basically what it does is it makes it into a little bit more of a track monster um, obviously the uh, the GT2 RS is an incredibly capable track car as it is but we're uh, basically talking about kind of new suspension some suspension and alignment tweaks and a completely reworked aero package so during the intro of this video you probably spotted the uh, the discs on the back of the car and they're not for brake cooling or anything like that which uh, a few people have said they're actually for rear downforce um, Robert Mitchell who I was talking about talks about this kind of extensively in one of his videos with uh, I believe it's Shmi 150 and uh, basically he says that he can with those discs on he can run two degrees less wing which obviously less wing means more top speed which means he can go faster around the track um, just by purely controlling the airflow around the car and uh, 
So basically they went through this car with a fine tooth comb and I'm on maximum attack here so apologies if I'm uh, not looking at the camera, I'm trying to concentrate on uh, getting through this track as quickly as I physically can. Like I say, I'm not cruising today, I'm absolutely on maximum attack and trying to uh, get around as quickly as possible. Don't move across on me please. Thank you very much Mr BMW as we say hi to the rebel tree as we go past. And uh, yeah, like I say, the, uh, the MR was built by uh, Manti Racing to uh, basically smash the Nürburgring production car record. Um, the record before that started with the uh, Lam was with the Lamborghini Huracan Performante, which stood at a 6 minute 52, if I remember rightly. Now, Manti Racing went out and they, uh, well, there's no other word for it, they smashed that record. Um, they put in a time with a Porsche factory test driver of a 6 minute 40 as we really stomp on the brakes down to uh, this corner and uh, yeah like I say they uh, they used a Porsche factory test driver as obviously you would um, and the guy put in a 6 minute 40 so obviously we're trying to aim for sub 6 minutes but what you have to remember is that this uh, this driver set the lap record on a full lap of the Nurburgring, so that includes the long old straight at the end, which of course is the dotting of her. And uh, as we uh, on the brakes, you can see my uh, skin marks there from a previous attempt on the way through. And there we go. That's my uh, deltas just come back to life, and I'm really not as far ahead as I probably should be at this point. And we're just gonna push as much as we can throughout the rest of the lap and I pray we don't catch any traffic as uh, uh, that's not going to work out we are going to catch a little bit of traffic and I don't think I'm going to catch it in a particularly convenient place either it's obviously going to be as uh, we head around the outside there and there you go that's lost me six tenths just by hitting that traffic in the wrong place as we uh, head through and down towards the carousel. Now I have six seconds to find in this last sector to uh, try and make it a sub seven minute lap which is a big old ask and I'm really gonna have to go on to maximum attack as uh, we almost get we have to get out of it again to get around the carousel and not get kind of thrown out. Now Robert in his video talks about kind of qualities that he wants in his uh, ring taxi drivers and one of them is obviously being exceptionally fast around the Nürburgring that kind of comes with the territory you're supposed to be giving the uh, the passengers the ride of their life you're supposed to be giving the passengers the fastest lap of the Nürburgring they've ever been on um, but also what he talks about is uh, how he can uh, get the drivers to help him preserve the car and because obviously these cars aren't cheap to run there we go that's a second and a half there to this point we're going to be really struggling to uh, push as hard as possible through this kill this section and that's going to cost me a bit of time there as uh, like I say that yeah to help him preserve the car that was YouTube corner back there if anyone's familiar with auto addiction that's the uh, the place you'll see an awful lot of their videos from. As we head down to Flens Garden 1 and I think preserving the car has gone completely out the window at this point and it's literally just push as hard as you dare through this section. And uh, yeah so the irony of me talking about preserving the car as I'm on maximum attack through this last section and uh, he talks about kind of also the guys being a little bit of a tour guide so also kind of knowing a little bit of the history of the Nürburgring and kind of being able to entertain the uh, customers when for example there's a crash on the Nürburgring as there often happens and you have to go through a yellow flag zone um, so it takes a certain type of personality to be a uh, a ring taxi driver and there we go that's uh, gonna be I can't believe this 
that's a 655.2 so I'm still 15 seconds off the uh, the Nürburgring lap record but there you go that's a sub 7 minute bridge to gantry that was, took everything I had to uh, kind of get through that last sector and not crash there you can see the actual uh, delta there for a second was all for that last sector was purple times so that's the fastest I've ever been through that section um, but yeah like I say I'm going to be uh, linking the, the kind of video that I'm talking about in the description below but yeah, like I say, it takes a, a certain kind of personality to uh, to drive a ring taxi, and hopefully that gives you a little bit of a window into what these guys do and how basically how they are kind of the ultimate professional racing drivers on a daily basis. Um, this is a completely kind of different discipline to uh, to racing, but still no less skilled. And these guys are in are incredibly talented. Like I say, that was a a six fifty five point two. So again, I'm still. I'm under seven minutes, um, but these guys are kind of doing that every single lap, um, and that basically took everything I had to get anywhere close to that time. So maximum respect to these guys. Um, once again, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll drop a, uh, a link to all the videos I've mentioned in the uh, comments below, and uh, hopefully I will see you in the next one. The next video I think is coming out on Thursday, so uh, it'll be another kind of practice video for me so looking at more stuff at Silverstone and uh, hopefully we'll see you then. Getting down to Flenskart 1 and uh, there we go, we're going to have a big accident now. Go, that's a prime example, we head towards the wall. And uh, I guess that's another good start. Oh, but I'm not going to save this one.